Welcome to the lecture. If you want to become certified software professional and you want to accelerate your career, you want to stand out on the job interview, you have to pass SOLIDWORKS certification exam. How to take this exam and how to pass this exam, find out on the end of this lecture. If you find this video useful, click like and subscribe. In this lecture, we're going to look at a tool, Boundary Boss Base. With Boundary Boss Base, we can add a material between two or more profiles in two directions to create a solid feature. So here we have those profiles and guide curve. So let's go here to features and let's choose here Boundary Boss Base. So here, under Direction 1, we have to choose our profiles for Direction 1. So we can choose this one, this one, this one. As well, here you can see we have those connectors. We can also move them, for example, to here. And now our solid feature is twisted. But let's go back. Like this. And now here, for direction 2, we can choose our guide curve. Like this. And let's click OK. And now you might be asking, OK, well, what is the difference between lofted boss base and boundary boss base we got the same result well there are some small differences we're going to show them so let's go back to the boundary edit feature and now as you can see here for each profile and for each guide curve we can choose here direction vector and normal to profile and this is not the case with the lofted boss base with the lofted boss base we can only choose normal to profile and direction vector for the first profile and the last profile and for the guide curve but here we can control also for the middle profile and here for example we can have 10 profiles between start and end profile and we can choose here direction vector and normal to profile so we can go with normal to profile and now here we have a warning so let's click ok and now if we go here to this position like this and now if we go back to none and now if we go back to normal to profile Let's click OK. We can see here that we have some difference in shape. Here we can increase the tangent influence shape. So let's increase this. And now we can see how the shape here is getting bigger and bigger. Like this, here and here, as you can see. And this is the one difference between boundary and lofted. You can choose normal to profile or direction vector for each profile between start and end profile. So this is the one difference. And now let's click OK. And now we can see we have some difference in the shape here. And this is something that we can get with the lofted boss base. And now we're going to show the second difference between the boundary boss base and the lofted boss base. So let's go here and let's open boundary versus loft. So here we have one profile and the second profile. And here we have some guide curve that connects the center of the first profile and the second profile. So now if we go to boundary boss base, we can choose for direction one, this profile and this profile. And we got this result. Now for direction 2, we will choose this guideline. And this is not possible. We have an error because this is not guide curve. This is center line. This curve connects the center point of the one profile with another profile. So let's go back. Now let's try to choose lofted boss base. Now let's go here with this profile and this profile here. And for the guide curve, let's choose this curve. And this is not possible as well. Let's delete here. But now let's go down here. Here we have one option, center line parameter. Let's open this. And now here we can choose a center line. And we're going to choose this curve. And now we got this result. And this is only possible with the lofted boss base. This is not possible with the boundary boss base. Here down, we can see our sections. We can turn this on. And now we can increase it. And now we can see the sections on different positions. 
So boundary boss base and lofted boss base pretty much the same, but there is some small difference in the boundary and the lofted that we shown before. If you're tired of watching on YouTube videos and buying cheap courses who always leave you wishing and wanting for more, and you want to have personal support to learn the SOLIDWORKS from the absolute zero to the professional level to improve and start your career, check the link below and visit our Super SOLIDWORKS Accelerator Academy. As well, if you like this video, click like and subscribe.